Now let's stay with what started that tirade, and that's the edible oil scam. In an apparent response to questions over the government's handling of the importation of edible oils, the embattled trade and investments CS Moses Korea says the measures were taken to protect Kenyans from what he called powerful cartels. The Trade Cabinet Secretary has gone on an all-out war with sections of the media of a press revelations detailing how companies owned by people with links to government were single-sourced to procure edible oils through the Kenya National Trading Corporation, KNTC. Here's Citizen TV's Ayub Abdikadir with that report. In what appeared to be a response to the ongoing controversy over importation of edible oils, Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria retrieved and retweeted a tweet he posted in February this year saying, until such a time when we will have a fully vertically integrated edible oils industry, the government will continue taking measured measures to protect consumers from powerful cartels that continue to fix high retail prices and raising the cost of living. It all began with the Kenya National Trading Corporation, which falls under the Ministry of Investments, Trade and Industry, getting the go-ahead from the Cabinet in October last year. The Cabinet memo stated, to address the cost of living, Cabinet approved a framework to position the Kenya National Trading Corporation as the anchor of state initiatives to create a price stabilizer for essential household food items. The memo continued, KNTC will leverage on its infrastructure and capacity to help stabilize price swings of essential items that are abnormal and against the public interest. However, a document filed in the National Assembly shows that KNTC single-sourced companies it contracted to import the 125,000 metric tons of edible oil. KNTC awarded multi-commerce FCZ a Kenya shilling's 8.12 billion tender to supply vegetable oil and Shehena Company Limited to supply jerrycans of edible oil at 1.33 billion Kenya shillings. To facilitate the subsequent imports, the Kenya Revenue Authority used Kenya Gazette Notice Number, Volume CXX1V, Number 250, but it turns out that this is a Gazette notice issued by the government on the 21st of November 2022 by President William Ruto to form the National Steering Drought Committee response. In a circular that followed, Treasury indicated the quantities of edible oils to be imported as totaling 125,000 metric tons. One metric ton equals to 55 20-litre jerrycans. Translating, therefore, to 6,875,020 litre jerrycans. To convert this to per container, as indicated by the single administrative document in our position, it translates to 1,330 20 litre jerrycans per container. To therefore get the number of containers, 6,875,000 divided by 1,330 gives you 5,169 containers. However, three single administrative documents have each different entries. The first document shows the importation of 26,600 20-litre jerrycans translating to 20 containers. The second document shows the importation of 51,870 20-litre jerrycans translating to 39 containers. The third document shows the importation of 6,650 20-litre jerrycans that translates to five containers. This brings the total number of containers carrying edible oil shipped into Kenya to 64. On the taxes, a KRA memo on the whole import plan stated, the Remissions and Exemptions Office shall facilitate the issuance of an exemption code to exempt 100% import duty the other taxes and fees and levies shall be payable as per the applicable laws. However, the customs entry documents in our position reveal that the Kenya National Trading Corporation did not pay the following taxes. Customs duty at 35%, import declaration fees at 3.5%, 
the railway development levy at 2.0 percent, the agricultural food authority levy at 20 percent, totaling to 42.5 percent in taxes. On the whole import plan, the edible oil importation plan will cost the taxpayer 76 million US dollars equivalent to 10 billion Kenya shillings waiver in taxes that the government granted to the Kenya National Trading Corporation. The Kenya Revenue Authority that is pushing for more revenues will lose nearly 10 billion Kenya shillings, therefore, in revenues. KRA and the Kenya National Trading Corporation are also yet to comment on the edible oils importation issue as questions mount over the transparency of the process and the public funds at stake. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.